All right, so we should be back live again. And we'll go ahead and get this started. I think this afternoon we're going to do some baseball, Super Mega Baseball 3, um, which has our TGC Tours roster uh, for the Kentucky Grizzlies involved. Uh, we're going to probably try to do, let's go ahead and get this started. We'll probably try to do a four game block of those because that's how we've been trying to do it except i think we had a one and a, th and a three block there because of something coming up that i had to take care of but anyway um normally we try to do four game blocks for that but that'll be later this afternoon and then we have um i believe we have a rec fest uh party going on at seven o'clock Gonna try to get involved with that. Johnson is back and ready to put this one in the air. Picking off to start the game. Bush back deep to return. From the one. Bush takes this one back to the twenty. Quarter defense. Hey, watch that three. Throwing. Jump. And he has it. Law is there for the tackle at the 38. That was a good adjustment by the receiver as he reads the man coverage and finds open space. The thing with these option routes is everyone has to make their rig quickly and make oh, it looks like we have a viewer. Is that you, Joe? Did you come back in? Running them effectively takes a lot of repetition. Not sure how the Only counts work for the viewers, but. No, I haven't been into NBA since um, Jordan and Bird got out, man. I, I just, I can't handle them. They're all prima donnas and ball hogs, man. I just can't do it. I don't mind Steph Curry watching him bomb some threes, but, yeah, since those, since the old boys got out, I just, I can't get into it. Kind of like uh, WWE. Now that The Rock's not doing much and all the characters are gone with uh, Kurt Angle and all them, I just, and Stone Cold and all the good ones, I don't watch it much anymore either. Wow. I mean, to each their own, dude. There's no, I, I watched the crap out of college basketball. I love the March Madness tournament. I don't just because there's other sports on. I don't catch a lot of the a lot of the college uh, main games, main season games, regular, except for the Razorbacks because I'm a Razorbacks fan. Um, but when March Madness comes around, I watch all the games, even if it's not my team. Um, and I really don't. We, my wife and I went to a uh, Atlanta Hawks game. It's probably been, it's probably been six months or like, or more ago now. And I didn't, I didn't hate that. I mean, we've been to a couple of Orlando Magic games when we lived down in Florida, just because the company gives away tickets every now and then, which is how I got the Atlanta Hawks uh, tickets. My manager couldn't go, so she gave me the tickets. Yeah, I mean, I didn't mind them. There's a, they got a redhead kid that's a pretty good three-point shooter, it seemed like. He was a, a rookie or second-year player. I can't remember his name. Um, but, but they played pretty well. I think they won. Pretty sure they won. Um, so I don't mind them currently, but I don't, I mean, I don't seek it out to watch it. Well, obviously, you don't, don't watch too much of anything right now because there's nothing on but soccer. Football. Uh, matter of fact, I watched um, Lester and somebody yesterday. Liverpool? Might have been Liverpool. Fuck, I don't remember. 
So I thought I was kind of starting to get back into it a little bit when we went to the Hawks game, but it just really didn't pan out. Um, I mean, it's the only live thing right now, so it's pretty much being pushed everywhere, <laughs> probably. But yeah, certainly here. But I, uh, I work for Comcast. I've been with them for 19 years, and, uh, so I get pretty much all the stuff, but they have a, their boxes have a, a button you can push for a sports app, and it'll bring up all the stuff that's live, and you can mark favorite teams and all that kind of stuff, but all the live stuff right now is soccer, so you either watch that or you watch reruns of football games or whatever, which I don't mind that, but if it's something I have seen and know what's going to happen, then I don't kind of puts me to sleep really doing that I played I played nine years of soccer when I was younger I love soccer dude Comes in for the extra point. that and bowling were my two favorite sports when I was little the point after is good. and uh, I would probably play adult leagues now but I don't uh, I had a triple bypass four years ago so I not really in the shape to be doing it so I did play adult leagues when I still lived in Missouri for a while, um, but we moved down to Florida in 99, late 99, and uh, just moved up to Atlanta, Georgia area about two years this ago, a little over two years ago, two and, a half, uh, two and a half years ago, something like that. Something on offense. They're down by a touchdown early, but these guys have the kind of offense that can score any time they have the ball. But yeah, I've not uh, not been in great shape since the bypass. So. Matter of fact, I went from being 130 pounds soaking wet to 208, which, to be honest, 130 too light. I was I'm 5'9", so that's that's not. I should be heavier than that, but I shouldn't be 208. If I could be about 165, I think it'd be just right. I think that's the right thing to do. It appeared he did a great job of keeping his balance along the sideline. Yeah, and the only question is, did he step out? No, and I and it was hereditary, so I can't. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. My dad died from it, and my grandpa died from it. So. The player was out of bounds when he caught the ball. Incomplete pass. So the coach looks a lot smarter after getting the play but reversed in his team's favor. Hey, yeah, I didn't even, like there was change, no, no pain or anything, no, no signs of it until an actual heart attack happened. That was December of 2015. And then in uh, early March, I had the triple bypass, which my birthday is late March, so it was a great birthday present. Yes, yeah, it was scary. I mean, I uh, I got dizzy, I got hot and sweaty and nauseated, and then I woke up. It's like your body resets. It's really weird. Well, let me rephrase that. It's like your body resets if you wake up. Uh, birthday or triple bypass? Triple bypass was the 8th, and my birthday is the 29th. Watch it here. The quarterback looks and fires one, and the defense is left to wonder how they let him off the hook. Yeah, 29th. My mother's the 22nd, I'm the 29th, and my wife is April 7th. So we got a little stretch there. Let's go, here on first down. Throws it. The wide receiver has it. Banks is there on the stop at the 41. Number two completes that for about a six-yard gain. Second and five. Everything you've got, go low, go low. They ain't got nothing. Let's go. Deep throw. Jumps and makes the catch. He's pushed out at the one. They've got something going here. Yeah, it's been one first down after another. They're putting together a nice looking drive here. <laughs> he 
first and goal at the one-yard line. They'll go from the I formation. Ingram comes in motion. Let's go, boys! Back hand off, and he's in for the score. They didn't waste any time hmm, getting that got a touchdown the for the Sharks. Rushing attempt for them. Winning at the line of scrimmage is... Yeah, for some reason when you do the... Because there's a program that you have to use to... It basically injects the custom teams into the franchise. Otherwise, it always uses the real NFL teams. And for some reason, when it does the stadium... Uh, when you tell it it's a custom team, it imports the stadium as well, information. But for some reason, it leaves a, the middle section out on both ends. I don't know why. But it doesn't seem to affect anything, other than visually. Which is kind of good, I guess, because if that spot, if that section was there, you wouldn't be able to see the EA warehouse, right? Like anybody gives a shit about that, right? From the three yard line, breaks away from the tackler. They couldn't stop the them from getting into yards. the end zone the last time out. First and ten. Ball on the 23 yard line. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming through, baby. Through, Using right? split back. But yeah, it's uh seems to be a little glitch of the program that imports the custom teams into the place of the NFL teams so that you can get them in the franchise. Cuz you have to you have to create the well, one you create the teams uh in a roster. And then you use a program to flip them into the NFL places within the program and then you start your franchise and when you first start it everything says is the NFL logo like it doesn't bring any of the custom logos and crap in and then so like on the schedule you wouldn't see any of the team logos you would see all just NFL logos in each box if you saw the if you saw the schedule at the beginning if not I'll show it to you after the game's over but um then you have to go back into that same program and load the franchise uh, file and then you go to a different tab and it, you mark all of the teams as being custom teams and then that brings in somehow that brings in all of the logos and crap so after you do that and save it, you go back into the game and load the franchise back up and you'll see all the logos like you should. So it's a couple steps to get it there, but if you're interested, I can show you whatever you need to see. Like if you want to know how to create the teams or create the logos or set up the franchise or any of that stuff just let me know and I can show you it's really not that hard which is one reason I use this program over like Madden 20 or whatever but the biggest reason is because Madden 20 to my knowledge I can't get the teams into franchise mode the only way I would be able to do it well I could get them into franchise mode because you actually just rename the NFL team in that case and change all their graphics and crap. But you can't not control a team in franchise on Madden 20. It's not an option. They won't, they won't let you. If you don't have something, it won't. It defaults to making one of the teams controlled by you and it will not let you un, uncontrolled the team. Do I play any of the... You mean like take control of anything? No. No. Not for this one. Um, in the baseball one... Oh, crap. Interception. In the baseball one that I'm doing, I am not controlling them either uh, for this season. 
but next season I will control the team, and then whichever way we end up better is the way I'll do it going forward. Um, this one I have, since I have all legendary players, I didn't want to control anything and screw anything up. So I'm just real curious. I've always been like a stats guy, numbers. So every three weeks or so, we'll probably look at stats and see who's leading rushing and all that kind of stuff. Um, maybe even a separate video on that piece away from the games, but, um, only one man in the backfield, United with a man in motion, money ball sort of, fell. yeah, kind of, I guess. What I should have done though was, um, I put all these players in what I should have done was a fantasy draft, but what I did was a spreadsheet that randomized them and put them on the teams, but I should have just made the pool of players at each position, and then, uh, well, I think I actually had to make them on a team to begin with, but when I started the franchise, I, sh I should have just did a fantasy draft and had it pick the teams. So they begin in the red zone and wind up punching it in for a Yeah, that's a good movie. Brad Pitt. Um, I mean, I got a couple suggestions for you if you can get a hold of them. Uh, one would be Multiplicity with uh, Michael Keaton. That's funny. It's a comedy. And then uh, Owen Wilson, Behind Enemy Lines. And the only reason I suggest that one is because it's in my, it's probably in my top five. Just because when I heard it announced, I was like, there's no way he can pull that role off. Because it's a serious role. And he's actually really good in it. So if you can get a hold of those two, I would suggest you watch them both. They're really good. If you haven't seen either, interesting. Yeah, Behind Enemy Lines is uh, Owen Wilson and uh, Gene Hackman. And, uh, yeah, that's that's what shocked me about it. And he's actually really good in it. Uh, and then Multiplicity is, um, that's an older movie, but it's uh, Michael Keaton, which was one of the Batmans, if you know who he is. Uh, and Birdman, if you've seen that. He was Birdman. Uh, and I can't remember the lady's name now for some reason. The older ones are better. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can tell, though, like on the special effects. Yeah, Birdman. I, well, to be honest, I have a thing for Stone. That's Emma Stone. There's something about her. I don't know why, but I find her very attractive uh, and I'm a huge Michael Keaton fan I loved him as Batman as a matter of fact he was my favorite Batman uh, but I've liked him for a long time yeah I mean it doesn't bother me either I, I absolutely love uh, multiplicity. That's that might be that might be my favorite movie of all time, just because of of what it is. Uh, I believe it's an a. I believe it's an 80s movie. It could be a 90s, but I think it's 80s. Uh, matter of fact, if you um, if you sign up for a free Plex account at Plex.tv. Uh, and then, sh and then PM me your or DM me your um, your username. I can share my server with you, and you can stream movies off of there. I have 800 and something, 890, 840, something like that. There's also music on there, which is 30,000 tracks or something. I don't know, 700 and something artists. But. Uh, I mean, 
and I do have multiplicity. I might have behind enemy lines too. I'm not sure. We own that on DVD, so I may not have that one on there. But I do have multiplicity on there because I just I just put it on there and watched it again. But I mean that's up to you. And also if you a laptop to TV wire. Oh, so you can stream it to the television. I got gotcha. you. Uh, I mean, sometimes I can watch on my phone, so I can't relate to that. I don't mind. I mean, my I have a 32 inch and a 27 inch for for my monitors, so I don't mind that. Ah, to each their own, dude. You could probably be in older movies. You might even be able to order them off Amazon or something for like a few bucks, even if you wanted to go that route. Because the temptation to force something in is bigger. Uh, sometimes, like uh, like if I'm at the office, which we haven't been obviously in months, but if I'm at the office, I'll set my phone up uh, underneath my monitors and watch. Uh, well, sometimes I watch streams. Sometimes I watch movies. Sometimes I listen to music. Just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Yeah, well, you need to add both of those, I'm, I guarantee. Well, I mean, I don't know what your tastes are, but I love both of those movies. But as you can imagine, with uh, having a server with that much on it, I've got quite a few I like. So. Uh, I'm a big fan of Coming to America, too, if you haven't seen that. That's Eddie Murphy. Excellent discipline by the defense. They stayed Love in collecting lane. the classics. Well, uh, I don't know if Coming to America falls under classics, but it's one of my favorites as well. And I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything for you, so I'm not going to tell you anything about any of the movies. Everybody's seen Coming to America, <laughs> as well they should. I love that movie. That the the lady uh, when I was younger, I I thought that lady that does like when he tells her to bark like a dog. <laughs> I thought that lady was so pretty. But the as I've gotten older and watched it more, actually, Lisa, the main character girl that he's trying to went over. I think she's very, very, very pretty back then. Yeah, true. A successful running attack requires good blocking. But yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite. I watched that. It's been on... Uh, It's been on one of the movie channels that I get. I've been watching it here and there. If there's nothing else on. That's Soul Glow. Too funny. Fargo, I never got into Fargo. Far I'm not a huge fan of the quirky stuff. Like, uh, now I did like the big Lebowski. But like, um... Like Dumb and Dumber and all that kind of stuff. I never really got into those. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees. I like the Ace Ventura stuff. I like a lot of um, Jim Carrey stuff, like the mask and all that kind of thing. But. Oh, that's another one. Uh, I don't know why that reminded me of it because he's got nothing to do with it. But uh, if, if you get a chance, if you don't have it or have already seen it, um, Four Rooms is another good one. It's actually a Tarantino film, but it's very good. And it's got a ton of people in it, including uh, Bruce Willis. 
Stallone films. Uh, Arnold films. Well, you, I mean, Expendables. You get both of them, right? Uh, I do like the Terminators. Um, Rockies are okay. Tarantino has a great. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, we just watched one of his too. It was um, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's actually really good. And freaking everybody's in it. Margot Robbie, DiCaprio. Uh, Pitt. Um, um, a big part of this guy's running style. Al Pacino, I think, is in it. Yeah, we just got it. It's on the server. We actually had a, it's like three hours long. We had a, uh, I had to do something, so we ended up watching two hours of it, and then we had to stop, and then we watched another hour a different night. He's really good in that one too, and he's an act. He plays an actor, so <laughs> it's really. Yeah, Inception was good. That's deep, deep movie. Uh, this one kind of is too. Really, it's um. He plays an he plays an actor. He, well, obviously he is an actor, but he's playing an actor. His character is an actor, and you get to see some of his acting in that character. It's really, really good. But it has uh, it's around the time period of um. Oh crap! What's his name? I can't remember his name now. The dude that um, killed Sharon Stone. Why can't I think of his name? Stoyanovich comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. The home field. Anyway, it's around that time period. Manson, that's Jesus. Well, why I blanked out on that? Yeah, Manson. And surprisingly, well, I'm not going. I'm not going to say anything if you haven't seen it. From the three-yard line. Yeah, uh, it's not what you think it is. I'll just say that. And my wife and I went into it expecting a certain thing, and that's not what we got out of it. So hopefully you get to see it. It's, it's pretty good. Is there on the stop. On the Dickerson ahead. And now you said something earlier that uh, kind of kept you engaged. This one, I think, will do that as well. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Ball on the 17-yard line. Careful, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. United with split back. He tucks it away. Johnson comes up Dickerson to make the play the at the 16-yard no line. <sighs> I was trying to think of. Trying to think of other really good ones. Um, uh, Tom Hanks. I'm, I'm a really big fan of Tom Hanks. I love all his stuff. He's, he's so good. I wanted to see this series he's got coming out about the submarine. Have you seen that? Advertisements? But it's going to be on Apple TV, so I don't know if I'll get to see it. Yeah, I like Hanks. Let's go. They'll pass on first down. 
Yeah, some on Apple TV. I can't remember the name of it, but it's it's about um some kind of submarine thing. It looked really good. I'm hoping to get to catch some of it, even though I don't have Apple TV. Someday, maybe. Number 25 comes up to make the play at the 28-yard line. I like to hurry up here. It's a change of pace and it's a way to get the defense. Yeah, I'm a big, big fan of him. Him and uh, Michael Keaton are right up there at the top for me. Uh, did you see, um, I believe it was called Jack Frost, which was Michael Keaton as well, where he's, uh, he's a singer for a band. And uh, I can't even I can't even remember what happens, but somehow he gets so turned into a snowman. Have you seen that? I, th I think it's called Jack Frost. I'm pretty sure. Because that, that was his name, I think, was Jack. I don't remember if it was Frost or not, but it's Jack something. But it was actually really good. Oh, you remember it? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I like that movie too. It's pretty good. He's got it. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and the touchdown. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Magic, his son wishes for him to come back or something, and so magically he turns into a snowman or whatever. He has a snowstorm or something, wasn't it? And he, they had a car wreck and it killed him or something. So seems like something like that happened. I can't remember for sure. That's something about me. I, just, I, I don't. I know I'm not really that old. I'm only 49, but my memory is terrible, dude. I can't remember crap. Don't know why, but it's not good. Johnson, he's just about ready to kick this one away. Well, we got a an interesting game shaping up here. 21 apiece. Close to halftime. First and ten. Ball on the 17 yard line. Let's go, D. Let's go. We like to crack the rules. is there for the tackle at the 20 yard line what they're doing here is keeping the defense uh, I was trying to think of some other ones that are up towards the top for me um well twister but that's pressure sure you've seen that bill paxton jumps up he has it the 30 the 20 the 10 touchdown i'll tell you this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play watch it here he reads the coverage Looks for the best option. Do the baby duties. Yep. Yeah, I really enjoy that movie, man. It's it's different. It's really di and he's really good in it. But hopefully you'll enjoy it. Oh, you like you looked at the description already? Yeah, it's it's something else. One of my favorites. All right, brother. Well, when you get a chance to look at it, let me know what you think. And good luck with the baby duties. Alright, Joe. See you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. Stoyanovic comes in to kick off. This one is taken by Hopkins. Defense gave up a touchdown the last time. Hopkins on the return. First and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Watch this! Go make a play! Play it! Play it! Yes, sir, boys! Gets the pass off. He was tipped. Ooh. Riley was there on the coverage. Incomplete. Riley on the coverage. Second and ten. 
ball on the 23 yard line. What is happening here? Dropping back. Closing in. Down he goes. Daniels stops the clock with that timeout. The veteran sits there and gets the sack. Hey, you still got to give him a lot of respect. His moves haven't diminished that much, and he still makes impact plays. It's now third and long after the sack. Ball on the 17 yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. No more, fellas. Come on. We turn it up. Thirty, the 40, He's gone. With a lot of room in front. The 40, Holy the cow. 30, the 20, Scoring fast. The 10, and he gets in there. Touchdown. When you talk about a dangerous back, this is what you have to be able to do. Not only get out there and outrun the defense, but have the power to bounce off the tackle and keep going. is all about trusting your teammates to make good decisions out there in the heat of the battle. When you can do that, everybody starts firing on all cylinders, and you can come up with drives like the one we just saw. Johnson is back and ready to put this one in the air. He got all of that one. From the one-yard line, Bush has a nice return, taking it back to the 33. First and 10. Ball on the 33 yard line. Danny, Danny, Danny. I'm coming through, baby. Split back this time. Watch the snap now. Stay close now. He'll pass on first down. Long throw. Incomplete. The deep pass incomplete. Number Nothing eight. doing, and the it's second down. On the play. Jeez, scoring fest going on. 56 points in the first half so far. This pass is incomplete. He decided to try and pass it, but he was taking so much heat that it just kind of wobbled out of there. Third and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Aye, aye. Now drop down middle. Let's A lot go, of boys. speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the Ball quarter. Back. Gets rid of it. Complete to the wide receiver. The defense blitzes the corner, but the quarterback got rid of it quickly for a completion and the first down. That was a great play because he saw him coming, remained calm, and threw an accurate pass. And this should be the last play of the half. On the 39 yard line. They ain't got nothing. Here we go, baby. Rush it, rush it. From the start, from the start. Come on. Dropping back to pass on first down. Under pressure. Gets the pass off. And he's forced out of bounds. Close. <clears throat> Almost had a second left to As kick a field goal there. Success, returning kicks, we get ready for the kickoff. Stoyanovic is just about ready to kick this one away. Good distance. From the two. Hopkin has a nice return, yards. taking it back Hopkins to the 42. The First and ten. Ball on the 42 yard line. Hey, let's go, one team. Get it started. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Tailback Daniels 
is there for the tackle at the 47-yard line. Dickerson with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five-yard pickup. Ball on their own 47. Ball on the 47-yard line. Hold the look. Let's go. Be fixed. Out of the eye formation. United with a man in motion. Pressure with the throw. And this pass is completed. Harris comes up to make the play. At the 44. It's usually a good call to throw it in his direction, John. Yeah, he's got some of the best hands in the league. He'll catch just about anything he can get to. I think he's most effective when they really need to catch. Third down and things like that. That's when he really shines out there. Hands it off to the back. Number 90 is there on the stop at the 39-yard line. Dickerson runs it through the middle again of about six. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 39-yard line. I can do it, baby. I'm coming through, baby. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Cross play to the left. Number 52 created problems in the backfield on that play. The blockers had a tough time engaging their block. The back had defenders on it before he could even get going. Third down. They have to get it to the 34-yard line for a first. Keep the throttle down. Watch each other's back. They've done very well on third down to this point. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. He finds his man. Brings him down before he can reach the marker. Number 18 couldn't make it to the marker. And it brings up fourth down. Here we go. This will take the lead. He nailed that one. Great kick. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. the one yard line it appears they've gotten someone for holding on the play holding on the receiving team number 95 it's first and ten ball on the 24 yard line here we go baby let's go let's go let's go let's go Bush, the lone back. They give it to the halfback. Tate is there for the tackle at the 32-yard line. Bush kept his legs moving, gets seven hard-earned yards. Ball on their own 32. Ball on the 32-yard line. Hey, watch the ball. Get it up. Harris, the lone back. Number two sends a man in motion. the call. Nice move. They're going to spot this one at the 44. That's the fourth stop he's made today. Great run there. That'll be a first down. He really ran well there. He gets some great blocks and he has patience as he picks up the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 44 yard line. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Harris, the lone back. Closing in. Gets the pass off. The defender's got it. The 40. The 10. He dies. Touchdown. A spectacular interception and return for a touchdown. Johnson comes in to attempt the point after. The point after is good. Now, if the quarterback is still rattled after that play, we'll find out on this first throw. Coach will probably go with something simple to get some of his confidence back. 
The one thing he can't be worried about is throwing that football. I think he'll come out firing to show us all that he's ready to make a play. two-yard line. The last time the defense was on the field, they scored on an interception return. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. You gotta believe in this hard day. What's the hard count? Bush yeah, in the backfield. Check it. Uh -huh. right, Looking go. for room. Play action. Gets pulled down from behind. Number two. Try Next play action, but the defense was right in his face to get the sack. You know, there aren't too many times when a defender comes in that cleanly and gets a shot at the quarterback like that. That was a big blown assignment. Right. Now in and second long. and long Ball after the sack. The 33 yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Let's go. Five wide yeah. receivers. Understand. Drops back yeah. with the throw. Almost picked off. Phillips was his intended target. Watson with the coverage. On the play. Third and long. Ball on the 33 yard line. Three ball. Give him Only yeah. one man in the backfield. Right no <laughs> with the pass. Completed pass to the back. Running with a lot of room in front. The pass is caught, but just shy of the first down. That was perfect defense. They allowed the catch, but they were there to make the tackle. Unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. Fair catch called for. Now, this is a big-time play by the special team. The punter does his job, and he puts it where the returner can't catch it. And the coverage team does their job by getting into position to knock it back into the field and pin him inside the 10. Dickerson, the lone setback. Everything you've got. Outside, no stop that motor. One of us will make a play. Let's go, boys. It's on. Let's go. Let's go. On the draw. Harris is there on the stop at the 16. He's very consistent running the ball, and he's given them a solid rushing attack today. Ball on their own 16. Ball on the 16 yard line. Get me going. Defense, get ready. United back in the shotgun. He'll keep it. Number 52 is there for the tackle at the 24. Here's what happened. You get a guy who can move around back there. The defense gets busy covering everyone, and they forget about the quarterback. And he gets past that marker and picks up a first down. Bring it up. Bring it up. Hey, hey, hey. Strong, strong, strong. Like this. That's a day. Hands it off to the back. <coughs> Number 71 comes up to make the play. The at the 30-yard line. This is just the, the kind of thing that they have come to expect from their running game. A very consistent and effective ground attack. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. You gotta have it, Chief. Yeah, go! Out of hey, the gun. The screen, With the quick, pass. Quick, quick. Ooh, nearly the picked off. That short pass is incomplete. Join It'll be third down now. Receiver on the play. Offense has been stepping it up on third down all day. Gets rid of it. Nearly intercepted. Oh, the defender got in close. between the ball and the receiver Third, again. The intended receiver on the play. They could use a turnover. It's down ten still. Siegel will come in now to punt it away. Bush will go back to accept this punt. Fair catch. This is where you want to respond quickly, or this could turn into a battle for field position. Ball on their own 22. Danny, Danny, Danny. Let's go now. Yeah. Uh -huh. They ain't got nothing. All day, baby. Come on. Uh -huh. Let's go, boy. Hands it off. 
across to the back. Chase comes up to make the play at the 29. Ball on their own 29. Ball on the 29 yard line. Two shot, two shot. Hold the look. With the pass, and it's intercepted. The 40. Oh. The scoring defense has stifled the opposition, forcing four interceptions. Wow. Sid Luckman not having a great day. Gets the takeaway. They're not set to go at the 34. Dickerson, the lone back, number 85, in motion. Hand off on the draw. Johnson is there on the stop. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. Second and nine. Ball on the 33-yard line. Ed, clear, clear. Keep it up. United starts out of the shotgun. The blitz is on. Gets the pass off. Number 25 first, comes up to make the play. The result at of the, the play 17. Is He's one of those guys who can really run. They have plays designed around him in their offensive game plan. First and 10. Ball on the 17 yard line. All right, here we go. Let's go, team. Let's the last go. time they were inside hey, the 20, Let's they got a touchdown out of it. United with a man in motion. Toss play to the left. Is there for the tackle at the 10. They've done a pretty good job moving the ball in the ground. They need 10 for the touchdown. Ball on the 10 yard line. Only one man back. Number 85. The man in motion. Quick pass. Watch this catch by the tight end. I always say the tight end is always more of a threat in the red zone. He's a big target, and his skills sometimes cause matchup problems for the defense. Well, that means that the Myrtle Beach Sharks are in trouble. <clears throat> Not impossible, but going to be down 17. The, the point, point answer is good. good. And now, John, they're just dominating with 24 unanswered points. Heck, by the way they're playing right now, they could score 124. Johnson comes in to kick off. Sends it sailing. This one is handled by Bush. The defense intercepted a pass their last time out. Bush on the return. Ball on their own 29. Ball on the 29. The Sharks are going to have to have uh, Sid Luckman get, uh, get straightened out on his... Uh, Four picks he's already thrown today. On the call, fakes the handoff. Big time lick. Bank comes up to make the play at the 23 yard line. Number two fakes the handoff and then gets planted immediately. You talk about a guy breaking up a play. He was on top of the quarterback in a heartbeat. Following the sack, it's second and long. On the 23 yard line. Well, right, well, right. Only one man in the backfield. Dropping back, steps up, going deep. Pass ball's incomplete, and Aaron fast that time. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. Doss was taken out earlier with a minor injury, but now returns to the game. Here we go, D. Go get a pass. Harris in the backfield. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. No completion there. That's a little surprising. The receiver's the coach has been spending extra time with all his guys on offense working on mechanics and their technique. He told me that he's seen a big improvement, but a big drop on third down like that shows that they still need a little more work. Number 17 comes into the game for the punt. Hopkins back to return. 
from the 28. Fox returns this one to the 37. Ball on their own 36. At the 36 yard line. First and 10. Dickerson, bone setback. United with a man in motion. Is there on the stop at the 37. Short gain, big hit by the defensive end. Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37 yard line. I can do it, baby. United out of the gun. Number 89, the motion man. Dropping back. Throws it. He hits his receiver. And he's knocked out of bounds. At the 49, and again, he demonstrates his great hand. You know, when a quarterback has a guy like this who can catch about any ball he throws, he can become kind of a security blanket. When he gets in trouble, when he starts feeling pressure, he can look in his direction because he has so much confidence in him. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Watch the man. Keep the throttle down. Watch screen. Pass play here on first down. Pump fake. Stepping up. Long throw. The 10. Number 37 comes up to make the play. At the five-yard line, he makes another catch to put him over 100 yards in receptions today. First and goal at the five. It's go time, baby. Let's go, D. Let's go. He'll keep it. Number 90 is there for the tackle at the one. That was actually designed for the quarterback to run, and that's just what he did. It's second and goal at the one-yard line. Dickerson is the deep back. Looking for the goal line. This one will be spotted on at the, the one. He makes one his fifth stop of the game on, the on that play. Good play by the linebacker to get into the backfield and stop the play for no gain. I'll tell you, that comes from watching this a lot This is of not looking good no for the Sharks. That was a heck of a play. The ball almost on the goal line, less than a yard away. The defense has had difficulty stopping them on third down. Now, this is exactly how to get the ball in the end zone. Just get in behind the center and guard and keep pushing and pushing until they're putting up six points in the board. Point lead after that touchdown. Johnson is back and ready to put this one in the air. This one is fielded by Bush. Oh. And what you're going to see here is a good example of how you can set up blocking on kick return. Watch how they create a crease for him. He sees his lane, makes some moves, and then he's gone. back gets the pass off they get it in there for two. Oh, wow so they get the that was gonna be picked now the two. Hopkins gets set to return the kickoff as we take a look at his stats so 
play out of it. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. From the six. Hopkins has a nice return. Taking it back to the 32. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Dickerson, the lone back. Keeps it. Johnson comes up to make the play at the 40-yard line. So it's his legs and not his arm that picks up yardage here, John. Yeah, he dropped back to pass, saw the coverage downfield, and he decided to take it himself. Second and two coming up here. The backs are lined up in an eye. This one Dickerson at the 46, on the and so that Daniel makes six tackle number six. Excellent run for a first down. They brought some extra heat with a blitz, but he was able to find some room and pick up the first. So first they have ten. first and ten Ball here. On the 46 yard line. Let's go, D. Let's go, Fred, To carry it. Nine places. Gets rid of it. Release to the wide receiver, the 30. Harris is there for the tackle at the 29. He's one of the most dangerous receivers. Likes to get the ball in his hands because he can break a long one at any time. Ball on the 29-yard line. Ball on the 29-yard line. Let's go! Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Keep it up. Run, yeah! With the carry, runs through the tackle. Johnson comes up to make the play. Might be a face mask call, but will it be five or 15 Personal yards? foul, face mask on the defense. Number 24. Penalties and takeaways are just as big a factor in some games as effective offense. The team that stays mistake-free usually goal. wins the game. After the penalty, it's now first and goal. Number 20, the deep man, dropping back, gets rid of it. And he can't Incomplete find a way to pass. keep possession. Number 18 the drops the pass in the end the zone. Play. Good play call. John just couldn't bring it in for what looked like a sure touchdown. He's been struggling recently with his consistency making catches. But when the quarterback can find you in the end zone and hit you in the hands, you got to come up with it. Number 20 lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Number 52 is there on the stop at the six. Trying to run it in on second and goal. No dice. It's third, third and, goal. and goal, goal at the, the six-yard line. Be nice Hold job so up. far on third down go. for the offense, That's and we'll see if that continues here. One back. The blitz is on. Under pressure. Throws to the end zone. And they were each jockeying for Pass position while that one was on the in the defense. air. Let's Number get the call. That's a costly down. penalty, but he prevented the touchdown. In this league, you don't want to give the offense first and goal from the one-yard line because even the worst team can get in from there. It's first, first and, and goal, goal at the one. On the one -yard line. Let's go, D. Let's go. Get it started. Go make a play. Brought down behind the line for a short the loss. Run. They went the Ball wrong way on that one. On Maybe they should stick to running between the tackles because this defense has a lot of speed. And they can chase down those runs to the outside. They're Second three yards goal. away from Ball scoring. On the three yard line. Three, two. Walk and run. All day, baby. Come on. Yeah. United Ball with a man left. in motion. Here we come. Everything you've got. Defense, get ready. Hand it off. Dickerson now has three rushing touchdowns. Johnson comes in for the extra point. The 
point after is good. They're ahead now by 23 following the touchdown. This one is taken by Bush. They need one quick score and then some more. They'll take over at the 21 yard line. First and 10. Keep it up. Under 10, 10. Watch your eyes. On the carry. Stiff off the defender to the ground. Number 70 comes up to make the play at the 26-yard line. They get some decent yardage on the run, but, John, they're using up precious seconds. What they really need to do is put the ball in the air. Put the pressure on the secondary. Ball on their own 26. 26-yard line. First left. Hey, watch the screen. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Tackle at the 40-yard line. That's his third tackle of the contest. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chains. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. Go low! Go low! Careful! There's a slot goer! All right, let's go! Play football! Yeah, you see me! Keeps it off to the back. Pace is there on the stop at the 45. The play calling is very surprising considering the size of the deficit. This is not a good time to sneak in a running play. They need lots of yards real fast. Second and five. Ball on the 45-yard line. Let's go. All on us, y'all. Out of the eye formation. They'll run this one. He has some room. Goes to the ground. Hey, if you can keep running the ball in the fourth quarter as you're playing catch-up, that's an advantage that you have over the defense because it keeps them off balance. on first down fires this one deep on the sideline and the out of bounds and I think the quarterback just let he that one get away on number play. 86 was the one they were trying to get the ball to second and ten ball on the 45 yard line hey watch the boot keep the throttle down watch each other back we pull it up with the throw and he can't hang on he has the hands to make catches on the toughest passes. I'm a little surprised to see him drop that one. Third and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Pressure. Hey, this is one hard-hitting linebacker. And just because you're the quarterback, that doesn't mean he's going to go easy on you. After the sack, they'll face fourth and long. Here we go, baby, rock and roll. Watch the jaw swing. Not a lot of options here. They have to take a shot and go for it. Looking to pass, facing a fourth and long. With the pass, this one falls incomplete. Down by this much here in the fourth, they had no choice but to go for it. Well, they're at the point of the game where they have to try something. Heck, next time maybe you try something else, but you can understand why they want to go they'll for it here. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Line. First and ten. At the 42. The That's a half dozen Game tackles now. Pickup of about eight. Two-minute warning two. coming up. Ball on the 42-yard line. Let's go, boys. Danny, Danny, Danny. Let's go now. Two minutes to go. They line up in the I formation. Number 85, the motion man. This one is handed off. Can't bring him down. Johnson is there for the tackle at the 34-yard line. This is tough running here. Let's watch him. 
as he gets through right here, and he breaks a tackle and keeps moving forward. I tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. Here we go. It's on. Go make a play. Deuce it, deuce it. Off to the tailback, drops in the backfield for a short carries. loss. The defensive line loss. sniffed that play out beautifully. The guys along the defensive line are very big and very active. And they're very good at sucking up blocks, opening holes for the linebackers to make plays when the other team decides to go with the run. Hand it off. This one will be spotted at the 34. To be course, his third tackle of the game. Dickerson takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Third and ten, coming up. Big scary. Let's go. Tampa. They've executed very well on third down so far, and that's a big reason why they're ahead at the moment. He hands it off, keeps his feet moving. The ten, five. Number 20 was there earlier and revisits the end zone with that carry. Johnson comes in to attempt the point after. The extra point attempt is good. This one is fielded by Williams. It sure doesn't look like they're going to be able to come back in this one. But it's an issue of pride. They want to prove that they're better than they've played so far. Ball on their own 21. At the 21 yard line. First and 10. Everything you got. Nothing. Only one man back. One back. Here we go. Here they come. And again, they exhibit their superiority. Sack number six today. He's rushing the offense back to the line. Get it up! Closing in. Gets rid of it. Pass ball's incomplete. And they have to go to the air because they need big plays fast. That's right. you got to have composure in these situations. Find your receivers who can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly, you have to keep the chains moving. Number two, spreads them out. Carr comes in motion. Drops back. Throwing. And he makes the grab. Ball brings him down before he can reach the marker. They might as well just punt it away now with the game out of reach. Game of eight on the play. Number 17 is ready to punt this one away. Number 18 sets up. Waiting for the punt. They'll spot this one where it went out. Wow, I think that's the first time I've ever seen the game wave a white flag. We like a pack of wolves. Two, two. Here we come. Go make a play. He'll just take a knee. Question is, do they call timeout since they were okay to punt it away? They do not. Ball Second on their own 12. 27. Ball on the 27 yard line. Watch your eyes. Set. Under 10, 10. Uh -huh. From the start, from the start. Uh -huh. Come on. Uh -huh. There we go now. Back it up, baby. Uh -huh. Danny, Danny, Danny. Uh -huh. A 
lot of scoring, but a one-sided game. This game is presented by the authority of the National Football League and EA Sports. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the description wow. and accounts of this game without the express written permission of EA Sports is prohibited. <coughs> now, Michaels, tonight. And in that game, get it saved. I believe that's the highest score we've had so far. Probably together as well as the one team. Alright, so that's going to wrap us up for this stream. And it looks like we'll have the powerhouse at the Phoenix next time. Oh, and one visiting one and oh. And then again, we have a couple of 1 and 0 versus 1 and 0 coming later in the week. Uh, looks like only one, nope, two 0 and 1s against 0 and 1. All right, so we're going to end the stream there. And um, I did save that, didn't I? And again, we're going to try to come back a little bit later this afternoon and um, get some baseball in, as I haven't uh, played that in a bit, and uh, need to get some games in there to get that season moved along. And um, hopefully that'll just be in an hour or so, maybe two. And um, we'll go from there. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.